Hey guys, it's Steph, welcome back to my channel. Hope you're all doing a-okay. In today's video, we are doing a full face of makeup that I picked up from TK Maxx. You guys know, maybe you don't, if you're new here, handshake, all of that, hi, hello. Um, I am a TK Maxx addict and I am okay with that. If I'm sad, I go to TK Maxx. If I'm happy, I go to TK Maxx. If I'm bored, I go to TK Maxx. If I have loads of things to do and I'm procrastinating, I will go to TK Maxx if I need something, if I don't need something. Yes, I go to TK Maxx. I know this video is not sponsored by TK Maxx, but it is sponsored by Estrade, which you guys know is another brand that I absolutely love. If you guys haven't heard me talk about Estrade before, they are basically the best razor company you will ever come across. And I know you're probably thinking, Steph, you're gonna say that because you're working with them, but the reason that I am saying that is because I love them and that's why I do end up working with them, if that makes sense. But the reason I'm so excited is because they recently brought out some face shavers. Now you guys will also know this about me. TK Maxx fan, Estrid fan, love to shave my face fan. And um, they just brought out some little face razors, whether you wanna shave your top lip, your brows off, a little bit of your brows off, just around your brows, you wanna shave your entire face, whatever it is you wanna do. These are the best facial razors I have ever, ever tried. And I know it looks like I haven't used them, but actually I literally just did it so I could do like a nice cutaway and everything, but I have very much used these and they are literally the best. They're recyclable. They are basically, what are they made of again? Uh, wheat straw, which I have no idea what that is, but it's recyclable, which is great. And if I just get one of these razors out for you, maybe one that I haven't used yet. You can see they're so cute. Estrid always kill it when it comes to just like aesthetically pleasing things that usually aren't that aesthetically pleasing and these facial razors are one of them. So obviously they're really good for travel. You can literally just like tuck them in like that. Of course, when it comes to your own body hair, do whatever the hell you wanna do, whether you don't wanna shave at all. Maybe this ad isn't for you or you wanna shave everything off, which is what I like to do. Or you wanna shave some areas, but maybe not other areas. Maybe you wanna get rid of like a little bit of peach fuzz or whatever. Estrid supports you. I support you literally do whatever the hell you want with and to your body as long as you're safe. Yeah, it's literally the best facial razor I have ever, ever tried. I'm sure you guys will ever try as well. And it's also pretty affordable for a set of three. Uh, even more affordable, actually, if you guys use my code. If you guys do wanna try Estrid for yourself, then if you actually go and buy one of their starter kits, which are, again, really affordable anyway. You've heard me speak about Estrid razors before. They are the best, really, really cute, everything like that. If you buy one of those and then you go to checkout and you use my code, which is on screen now, I believe it's Steph Free Face, but again, everything will be on screen and also down below, you will get a free set of these guys here. So you can like experiment if you want to. Like you can like shave around your brows, shave your top lip, shave all your peach fuzz off. And if you guys don't know about like dermaplaning, AKA shaving your face, um, again, obviously no one has to do it, but I like to do it because it basically makes my skin feel super smooth, which when I'm putting makeup on is very, very helpful. It's also good to get rid of like dry skin and like the dead sort of top layer of your skin as well. So really, really good if you wanna have your skin kind of work a little bit harder. So yeah guys, if you've been curious about Estrid in general or you've been curious about shaving your face and you kind of want to try like a trusted razor, then if you go and buy one of their starter kits, which again are like really affordable and they're also really, really cute, they come in loads of different colors, then if you use my code, which again is currently on screen and also down below, it's Steph Free Face, you will get a set of these facial razors for free. Like it's just as easy as that. So click the link down below and check them out because honestly, best razors I've ever tried for my face and their other razors, best razors I've ever tried in general. Like, I used to literally shave my mustache with the like standard estrid razors. Now I don't need to, I've got these bad boys. So yeah, click the link down below and check them out. And you're welcome. Let's be dolphins together. Insert dolphin noise. Ollie, you better have inserted a dolphin noise then, otherwise I'm just like with my creaking chair. Anyway. Thank you so much, Estrid. Thank you to you guys for listening to that little ad. Helps me just make these videos in general. Um, let's do some makeup. And I have so many things to show you that I'm very, very excited about putting on my face. So uh, let's do that. As you can see as well, some of you ooh, will be very pleased about this. No contacts today because I'm actually doing like a really bright red makeup look. And I feel like my brown eyes will kind of work with that best. So this is for you guys out there that absolutely hate my contacts. So most of these things I actually picked up on the TK Maxx website. This is fully gonna sound like an ad today, but I assure you it isn't, but TK Maxx, hello, hi, how you doing? Love you so much. Uh, emails down below if you wanna, you know, get in touch and stuff. But I picked this up from one of my local TK Maxx's. If you guys tend to live in like bigger cities and your TK Maxx kind of sucks, like, you know, when you go in and you see like a Huda Beauty palette 
and you go to open it up to check that it's like, you know, untouched and you will see it's just like smeared everywhere. It doesn't happen that much where I live because I live in literally like the middle of nowhere, but go on TK Maxx website because they have so many things. And I think like everything apart from two things that I got today, I got from like online TK Maxx. So definitely check that out. But the first thing that I got, I got in store and it's from Milk Makeup and it's called their Triple the Kush um, like gift set. And it's got their Kush mascara, which I've tried before. Uh, I kind of liked it, it wasn't my favorite, but I've tried that before. And then it's also got their lip balm and brow gel. I've got another mascara to try out later, but oh, I actually didn't realize it was like a full size mascara. I thought it was just a mini. That's actually really good value for money because I picked this up for $12.99 and I think this retails for usually around about like 22, 23 pounds. I'll put all the prices on screen and everything. But the main reason why I got this set is because I needed a brow gel to like do this video because I wanted a full face and I've not tried this out before. And then I've also got this little mini lip balm as well, which smells like the devil's lettuce. No, I would I would have no idea what that smells like. I would never, but it's like this nice little oh, cat hair or there's already a cat hair on it. It's like a little green lip balm. I will probably pop that in my little handbag. If I start like acting weird, I might be high from the kush. No, I'm sure it'd be far more expensive if... Anyway, let's move on to the brow gel. So I don't know if it's actually gonna like slick my brows down, which you guys know I like, but we will see. I'm gonna like really load this up. Oh, liking the little spoolie here because it gets right into my brows. Don't know if this is gonna slick them down. I feel like it probably isn't because a lot of the time brow gels do just kind of like give you a bit of a natural hold, but I'm gonna attempt to like slick them to my forehead. Got a little bit of sun on my nose. Literally sat outside for like 10 minutes and my skin was like burn. I'm like fully trying to slick them down to my forehead. Like this kind of hurts a little bit, but I don't want them to move at all. I wouldn't necessarily say this is like the most like strong holding brow gel there is. That's why we've got like the Bielli brow gel and stuff, but it does seem to have a little bit of hold. Like I can sort of like fully squish them down to my forehead. So not bad. If you like a brow gel just to like run through your brows that doesn't give you like insane slick down brows, just a little bit of hold. This actually, it seems pretty good. So the next thing I've got to try is actually one of probably the only products from Illamasqua I've actually never tried. Don't know if they actually still make it, but this is the Defense Veil Primer. Now I've tried out all the other primers, but not the Defense one. What does it even do? Anti-pollution, okay. And it's this little mini one. I got this for 4 dollars I think this normally retails for like 12 pounds, but it's like one of the little jelly sort of primers. Doesn't necessarily look like much there. But I'm gonna pop some of that on. Doesn't really have a smell. I really like their Beyond Veil um, primer that they do like this. It's got like a little bit of like a shimmery sheen to it. These primers are weird because like, it's literally like a jelly, but it's actually really, really hydrating and moisturizing. Like you think it's just gonna be like a gel that kind of sinks into your skin and then disappears and you never see it again, but it's actually really, really hydrating. So yeah, not too much to say about that because I mean, it's pretty similar to one of the other primers that I've tried out from them before. Still looks pretty good. Ooh, feels cooling. Maybe this is another allergic reaction, who knows, but it does feel kind of cooling. I don't know if it's supposed to or not, but anyway. So next I'm actually gonna go in with my eyeshadow and you will soon see why, because I'm gonna be doing like a bold red look. Like I literally mostly just wanna use this color like all over my lid, maybe a few of the other shades just to like go in the crease and everything, but I really wanna do like a bold red makeup look and I've even got like a bold red lip. So fingers crossed this will actually look okay and I won't just look like I'm going to like a costume party or something. But yeah, this is the LOV uh, Anna Lip, Lipok, Lipok, sorry if I'm saying your name wrong, but it's called the I Love Me More and it's the pressed pigment palette. So it looks like this, you've got a nice amount of like neutral shades there when you cover those up. That's actually a really, really nice like neutrals palette, but then you've got some pops of color here as well. And this cost me, uh, it says 9 dollars but I'm pretty sure I got this for like six pounds. I'll have to like check my receipt and everything, but I got this for six pounds and it normally retails for 21. So you all know the drill. I'm just gonna pop some of my P. Louise base on here. And yeah, I think I'm just gonna do like a really blown out, bright, smoky red eye look. But yeah, I wanted to do this before I did my foundation, just to make sure there's no fallout anywhere. Okay, let's do this. I'm gonna start off with this shade here. So in this palette, you've got two shimmers and then the rest of them are mattes. So I'm just going in my crease with this to begin with. I might go in with a darker shade in a second, but I'd rather play it safe. 
you know, it's a good color. Okay, I'm like slightly nervous, but also I have really, really wanted to try this red eyeshadow out ever since I got it. So I'm gonna pick up quite a bit of that. You can see it's really, really pigmented. Okay, let's see. I'm just gonna go all over my lid. I'm sure this will probably stain the crap out of my eyelids when I take this off, but that's fine. Pretty nice. So I'm just using a flat brush for the minute just to pack all the color down. Oh, okay. If I pack down a lot more in one go and don't like dust it off as much, then it does look a lot more intense. There we go. Oh, mm, that's such a nice freaking color. Oh my God, look at that red. That is freaking dope. Hang on, Michael's attacking my carpet outside. That is one of the most pigmented reds I've actually ever come across. I'm now gonna take this teeny tiny little brush and I think I'm gonna go in with this shade here just to kind of blend it out a bit and then I can always like smoke it out a little bit more with that red color again. But I'm just gonna like overlap that with the um, transition shade just to soften it a little bit. I don't want it to be like super smoky and soft but I do just need to blow it out a little bit. I can obviously clear up this bit in a second, so I'm not too fussed about that. And then back in with a little bit more of that red on this tiny brush, just to bring the color back where I blended it out. I am well impressed with that red. Once I've cleaned this up, it's probably one of the best red eyeshadows I've actually ever used. I'm then gonna take a little bit of this shade here on this fan brush, mixed in with a tiny little bit of this shimmer as well. I'm just gonna go on my brows now like on my brow bone. Nice. Uh, how sick is that red color? Like imagine that, sharpened up, dope. Freaking dope. Okay, very, very happy with this palette. And the fact I got it for like six quids, thank you TK Maxx. Okay, just to save you guys a little bit of time because I'm aware my videos recently have been very, very long. I'm gonna go do the other half camera. I'll probably sharpen things up a little bit and then we'll carry on with the rest of the products. But I love this. This red, if I could kiss my own eyelid right now, I would. Okay, eyes are done for a minute. I'm probably gonna do a little bit of clear up in a second, but now we're gonna go in with foundation. So this I got for 20 pounds. Normally this retails for like, 40 quid or something mental. Again, I'll put the prices on screen, but this is the Pericone MD No Makeup Foundation. I got it in the shade Nude, so they only had a couple of shades to choose from, so hopefully this will work for me. But it just looks like this. It says to apply evenly with fingertip sponge or brush. I'm probably gonna use a brush for this, but it's got a cute little pipette as well. So that's handy. I have no idea what sort of coverage this is gonna give me. Okay, the color actually looks pretty decent. Oh yeah, this color is gonna be fine. That's actually giving me way more coverage than I thought it was going to. I'm into it. Hell yeah, that actually looks pretty good. Do a little bit more just around the center of my face. Let me know if any of you guys have tried out any of these products that I'm using. I feel like some of them, like usually when they're on TK Maxx, they're either like discontinued or part of like, I don't know, like a Christmas set or they've changed the packaging or, you know, sometimes they are just like, general products that TK Maxx have like bought off a company or whatever. But um, this actually looks pretty good. It looks a little bit mental right now because I'm just beige with like red eyes, but I actually really quite like the finish of everything. Like I definitely need some powder. It looks very, very oily and almost like greasy looking, but I'm very, very impressed with the coverage it's given me. And the color's pretty good too. So I'm now gonna go in with this e.l.f. concealer here. Now this wasn't much cheaper. This is normally six pounds. I got it for 3.99 and it's called their Flawless Concealer, which I think I tried ages ago, but I didn't see it in my collection. So I thought I would pick it up again. I got it in the shade medium beige and I'm just gonna do some standard concealing. This is literally like the only color that they had. So it might not be my perfect match, but we're gonna see what we can do with it. My face looks so greasy right now, oh my God. And then I'm just gonna blend out the concealer under my eye. Try and make sure I don't like smudge any red under my eye as well. Think that's pretty even. I did add a little bit more concealer in like my inner corner. I don't feel like that's looking too bad. I'm actually quite impressed so far. So now I'm gonna go in with this powder here. And if I remember correctly, I had this years and years and years ago and I was not the biggest fan. Um, it doesn't have a sticker on it or anything, but I'm pretty sure this was like, Four pounds, like 3 99 and I think it normally retails for a tenner. So it's the Revlon Photo Ready Candid Anti-Pollution Setting Powder. 
I don't want to use too much powder because I feel like with this sort of base, if you add too much powder, it can sometimes look a little bit cakey. So I'm only going to use a little bit. Let's do my under eyes first. That's not bad, actually. Yeah, that actually isn't too bad. It's quite a lightweight powder. Maybe it wasn't this one that I tried years ago. I know I tried one very, very similar when I was working with Fragrance Direct. Yeah, this doesn't actually look too bad. There's a little bit of caking around my nose. Don't know if you guys can see that just here. I use a bit less on this side. Maybe I use a bit too much. Yeah, it looks a tiny bit like textured around my mouth, which if I ever get texture, it's usually around my mouth and my nose. Um, it's not too bad. It's just one thing I am noticing. Yeah, it's actually not too bad. So maybe it wasn't this powder that I used like all those years ago, but um, I thought I'd just recognize the packaging. But it looks all right. It's just around my mouth. I'm a bit like crusty. Now we're gonna try out this palette here from a brand called Masauda, Masauda. Never really heard of it. It's like a brand from Milano, I think. And this palette cost me 10 pounds, but normally it retails for 27 pounds and 90 P. So it's a pretty pricey face palette, but they had a bunch of different products from this brand on the website. And you can see, just looks like this. So I'm gonna do the huge bronzer, blusher, highlighter, see how that works out. I don't know how pigmented they are. Very, apparently. This one looks way too dark for me, but this bronzer looks pretty good. So I might just use the bronzer. Yeah, that color looks pretty good. So I'm just taking the first color. And I'm just gonna bronze my cheeks up. Let me know if you guys have heard of this brand before. Like maybe it's something that is more popular in like Italy or something, but I literally never heard of it until I went on TK Maxx. Don't worry, I'm gonna blend everything out in a second. I'm just getting a bit of color on my face first. It's a really nice like olive -y neutral color actually. But that looks pretty good. Okay, now I'm gonna add a little bit of blush just using the same brush that I was using before. So I'm going in with this color here. And again, it seems to be quite pigmented. Ooh, that is actually a nicer color than I thought it was gonna be. It looked like really, really pale there, but on my cheeks it actually looks really nice. Work that way around. Do you know what the one thing is that I don't have that I had in my basket, but it sold out before I managed to buy it was um, they had a MAC Fix Plus, like the coconut one. And I was like, oh, hello. So yeah, if you, um, okay, and this fully sounds like an ad, just saying it's not. If you do go on there, and if you have things in your basket and you're thinking like, I'll buy that like tomorrow, just buy it. I think normally you can get like free delivery to the store or something. Just buy it because I literally looked at it and then within like 20 minutes it was gone. So just imagine that I'm using a Mac Fix Plus. Stunning. Pretty happy with that. Now we need to try out this highlighter. Let's swatch it first. Boop. Looks like that. Quite nice shiny and sheeny. I feel like it kind of looks like a bit of a cool toned highlighter. It might look a bit gray on the skin. Yeah, I don't know if you guys can see, there's a little bit of a cast here. So I'm just gonna use a really light hand. Like I'd probably much prefer using like the eyeshadow on my face, but I'm still gonna give it a go. And then again, just a little blend. Yeah, I don't wanna use too much because when do I ever say that when I put highlighter on? Because I feel like it is gonna give me a little bit of a cast if I like fully plaster my face in it. But just a little bit, you can see it's still giving me a really, really nice sheen. I do wanna add a tiny little touch of this eyeshadow. So I think I'm gonna mix these two again and just maybe do a bit here to see what that looks like. Yeah, I prefer that. That's more of like a me color. You, you could probably barely see any difference, but if you like your highlighter, if you know what I'm talking about, then you know what I'm talking about. Yeah, I'm gonna leave my face at that for a minute. Now I'm gonna go in with this brow pen here from Rodial. So this normally retails, I think it's for like, yeah, 28 quids for a brow pen, but I got it for 9.99 and I think it's in like a universal shade. Who knows if it'll actually be universal. I swear like brands sometimes are just like, it's universal and then it comes out and it's like gray and it's like, okay, cool. That's not exactly universal, but okay. It looks like a super fine nib. Oh, there's like, I mean, you can see it, but it's more like a freckle pen to me. Like it's super, if I just do like a really thick line here, I'm going over it a couple of times, you can see that it is quite sheer, just on my arm there. So I'm gonna try and fill in a little bit of my brows best as I can, um, just to like extend them a little bit. It might work. I feel like it's just gonna look a little bit like light brownie though. If you need to fill in some gaps in your brows, like I've got a little gap here normally. I feel like this will work for that. Just like really subtly. Yeah, it works for that. It's actually probably quite a good pen for that. But if you want to actually like draw on some brow hairs, you can kind of get away with it, but it's not like the best for that. But yeah, for filling in your actual hairs, it's probably quite good. 
When brands say that products like this are universal, I'm like, well, yeah, they probably are because they're so sheer that you can barely see them. So they'll probably work on most people. I haven't got like a weird brow color or anything like that. They're just a dark brown. And yeah, it still looks very, very warm toned like on the ends of my brow. So not too keen on that. I like the execution. I like the nib. I like all of that, but just bring out some more colors. But when like a product is like 28 pounds, you can make it in a couple of colors. You can, like, let's face it. You can make it in a couple of different shades of brown and like an auburn and a taupe or whatever. Uh, I'm just gonna use it for a couple of freckles. That's probably what I'll use it for. Yeah, dope is a little freckle pen or like a little beauty mark pen, but brow hairs. Not so sure. Okay, now I'm gonna move on to mascara. I picked up this one here from Rimmel. This is the Scandalized Flex, which again is one that I've not tried out before. And this cost me 4 dollars normally retails for seven quid. So not like a massive saving, but still saved a couple of pounds there. So I'm just gonna whack this on and I'm probably gonna add falses in a second as well. So when I get this, I swear every time I go to do mascara, it's like my body knows I'm doing mascara and it just wants to sneeze. And I'm like, no, no, you haven't sneezed all day. Why have you decided to sneeze at this exact moment in time? This actually looks pretty good. Yeah, this looks pretty nice. It's not giving me like too much volume, but it's giving me a lot of length and curl. It's quite a nice mascara. Again, no idea if they still make it. I know you can definitely still get it online in some places, but I don't know if it's like a readily available mascara from Rimmel, but that's actually quite nice to be honest. Oh, this eye look, this eye look. I'm now gonna add, and this could either look really kind of like editorial and dope, or it could just look tragic. I'm gonna add a red liquid lip. This is the, the packaging is all covered up. Giorgio Armani uh, Lip Maestro Intense Velvet Lip Color, and I got it in the shade Redwoods. And these are pricey, like I think these normally retail, like it's covered up the price, but I got this for 20 pounds. I think these normally retail for like 35 pounds, which is mental, but hopefully this color will look okay. They don't really have much of a smell to them. Oh, this might be the wrong sort of red tone. We're gonna roll with it. If the tone was a little bit different, I think this would work a lot better. Like, it's not too bad, but this is like a little bit more, it's almost got like a bit of a brownie tone to it. I think it dries down matte. Velvet lip color. Don't know, guess we'll wait and see really. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna wait for a second. I'm going to add on some lashes and probably put like a little bit of highlighter on my inner corner or something, sort my hair out, and then I'll come back and show you guys the finished look. And hopefully I don't have lipstick on my teeth. If I do, great. But yeah, I'm gonna leave it here for a second. I'm gonna go and sort all of this out and then I'll show you guys the finished look and we'll see how it looks. All right guys, so this is a finished look. Obviously popped on some lashes. Um, what else did I do? I had a little bit of mascara on my lower lashes and a couple of dots because I figured why the hell not. Uh, put my hair up. Uh, oh, and I just realized as well when I like did my parting that I left my purple shampoo in my hair for too long last night and now my scalp is blue, so. I love that. One thing I did also realize, wherever I've put it, that I didn't actually use yet is the Huda Beauty Nymph um, body glow stuff. It's like a body highlighter. I don't think they sell this anymore, but I always wanted to try this and I picked it up a while ago. So this cost me $16.99 and it normally retails 40 quid. So I figured let's just give it a try. Um, I think there's a certain shade of it. Oh, it's a lot more liquidy than I thought. I got it in the shade Aphrodite. So it's shake well. Maybe that's why it's come out like that. Maybe not. I'm just gonna try this. Oh, it smells, it smells good. It smells like coconut. Hello? So I used that Lottie London one the other day, which I did actually quite like. This one is more subtle, but it doesn't feel like anything. It's not like thick or anything like that. Let's add some more. Yeah, it's super liquidy. Blech. Shining, shimmering, splendid. Oh, that actually looks really nice. Just gives like a soft focus effect to my shoulders. Let's put it on my breasts. Wait, stay in there, breast. Ugh, no, don't go on my top. Okay. Oh, I am healthy. I eat asparagus. What's that stuff called that's like spinach but sucks? Kale. I only eat asparagus and kale. That is all I eat. I am so healthy. This actually looks really good. Okay, I liked the Lottie London one which I have in my drawer still. I prefer this one. I wanna check, see if they do still sell this because if they don't, I'm like, why? Cause actually this is really, really nice. Let me just check. Uh, stock and Cult Beauty. They at least still sell it on the Huda Beauty website. 
So I don't think it's like gone entirely, but yeah, really into this. This is like by far the best like body glow I've tried. And it only took me like four years to actually try it. Look how nice that is. I look all glowy and hydrated, even though I'm just a crusty little dehydrated worm. Really, really like that. Okay, so yeah guys, this is the finished look. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. I'm really into it. Like if I had like a nude lip or something going on, this would just be something that I would wear on a night out. Um, I, the lashes that I used by the way, were just the She Glam lashes that I used in a previous video. And I just sort of like cut them and stuck them like on the outer corner. But yeah, I'm really happy with this look. Let me know what you guys think down below. As always, you guys know the drill by now. I'll link everything in the description box down below with all the links and everything like that that I use. And you can also shop them on like the YouTube shop function. I think you should be able to just like find them on screen somewhere. And of course, if you do also wanna try out the new Estrid facial razors, and if you do also wanna try out their standard razor, then go ahead and pick one up on their website. Again, link will be in the top bar of the description box down below. And if you use my code, which is Steph Free Face, you don't get a free face, but you do get free facial razors. So if you wanna try Estrid, try it there like regular razor, pick a really cute color, you will also get one of these for free. So anyway guys, I'm gonna leave it here. Let me know if you enjoyed this video. Let me know if there's any other products or brands or whatever you guys want me to try out. Leave a comment down below if you made it this far. Thank you so much. And um, that's about it from me today. So I love you and I will see you. That was not my normal outro. Like, comment, subscribe, all of the above. Uh, upload all the damn time, whatever it is that I normally say. I love you. I love you, and I will see you in the next one. The outro was tragic, but we're we're just gonna leave it leave it like that. So anyway, bye. Have a good day. Bye. I actually now need to take all of this off, so I'll let you know in the comments down below if this stain because I need to film another video in a second. But I feel like I'm gonna have red eyelids for the next like two days. So I'll let you know down below. But um, anyway, love you. Bye. <laughs>